All right, folks, welcome back. Give me a second while I get the fire started in the background here. There we go. We are counting down to the end of this version of the demo. Uh, in this last couple of days here, the Bala Pals and I in the Discord, we completed another one of these highly optimized high score runs. By the way, that's not me being clever. Bala Pals, that's, uh, the dev came up with that and I kind of like it, so I felt like using it. Uh, anyway, the, the Discord team and I, we did one of these high score runs resulting in, you know, somewhat of an interesting collection of jokers here. I've got two copies of Blueprint, I've got two copies of Dusk, two copies of Constellation, bunch of negatives, a couple of polychromes here um, to get, you know, this crazy big high score. Uh, if you want to check out that video, the run is, uh, you know, among my recent videos here. Uh, in the new year, you know, give it a week, I am putting together sort of a complete breakdown explanation of all of the different moves that go into, you know, that run and how we're able to optimize every little bit that we could. Um, before that, okay, you know, something that I thought would be kind of fun here is, uh, I have some familiarity with this seed. I've explored it, you know, all these different intricacies doing this high score optimization, but I haven't really just kind of played the seed naturally, you know, like you would any other kind of high scoring run, you know, just play a regular random seed run. Um, so let's try that. And then we'll just kind of see what happens. You know, I've done a, a tutorial in the past about how to play a specific hand, flush houses, how to make that work, how to go for high scores in general, how playing for high scores kind of looks different from uh, potentially, you know, playing for win streaks. And so, you know, maybe there could be a little bit of strategy that goes into this. But what we'll do here is we'll take this seed, start up a new run, and just see what we get. All right, in the first round here, uh, typical stuff. We'll just go ahead and discard trying to make a full house. We end up getting it. I've come around on this, you know, going for the full house start. Um, it is nice to be able to beat the first round in just one hand. Uh, I will say, if you're going for win streaking, if you're trying to not lose, I think it's actually safer to just go for two flushes or two straights or a f straight and a flush or something like that. Uh, you miss with the full house a non-zero amount of the time. And sometimes it just straight up ends you. Or maybe it you know costs you a bunch of money and then you're not able to get the ball rolling. So. It's not guaranteed, not guaranteed that you'll get the full house. So maybe don't always go for that. But I like to, you know, it's very satisfying to get that full house winning in one. Now, uh, in the shop here, one of the things that makes this seed very interesting, very useful, is we have the Immolate voucher right away uh, giving us, or sorry, Immolate, it's not a voucher, uh, from the Spectral Pack, giving us not just the card removal here, but also... Uh, a bunch of money. Now, uh, if I were just playing this kind of for fun, what I would be interested in doing is trying to make flush houses as early as possible because I know flush houses are going to be worth uh, a lot of points. And so maybe the way that we do that, also here we've got the telescope. So when we were trying to find, you know, what is the appropriate seed that's going to give us the highest score, one of the things that we're looking for was the immolate at the start to get us, uh, you know, the money to buy all the jokers that we need, uh, get the ball rolling here. Also the telescope so that we can get, uh, you know, lots of the series planet cards. And so if I want to try to get this telescope stuff happening, I want to try to get my flush house as early as possible. Let's open up the Arcana pack and then see what we can find. Alright, we do have the suit changer, the moon here giving us clubs. We have some options we can make 
a pair of sevens into clubs or a pair of fours into clubs. Um, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the fours than the sevens. Uh, the reason for that is if I make these sevens into clubs and I happen to know that this seed has access to the eight ball and I am going to go for an eight ball run, then if I turn my sevens into eights using strength, then that could potentially disable my flush house. If I then, you know, have all eights of clubs instead of a mix of eights and sevens. And so maybe I'll do that. I'll do the fours, turning those into clubs. I did do the immolate, so let's make sure that we still have a four of clubs left, okay? And then the other card that I'm gonna go for, uh, I am gonna make a second eight of clubs. That way, uh, you know, as I am trying to do some eight ball stuff, what I can do is I can play a pair of eights, red eights, and then separately play eights as my flush house. And then that way I don't waste any hands. And let's see here, we've got uh, in the next round, I can buy this telescope later. So we'll go ahead and check it out. All right, let's try to make our flush house happen. That way we can win in one. Or maybe, um, no, I think that's it. Let's just try to make our flush house happen. So we said it is eights and fours. So, yeah, eights and fours throwing away everything else. There are fours in the deck. Okay, just checking. Uh, let's see here. We didn't get it yet, but we've got this triple here. Let's go ahead and play those. Got the fours and the eights. Didn't quite get there yet. We'll play high card. And then finally, we got our flush house. Uh, so we are gonna try to do telescope stuff. Um, we did the two, three of a kind here. Uh, that should be fine. We probably aren't gonna play three of a kind that much, so it's pretty safe to play a couple now. All right, so we now, we have the money. We can pick up the telescope. Um, we ended up playing the two three of a kinds so we can't pick up well we could pick up this celestial pack but it's not going to give us a series card it'll give us the venus card instead um but you know i want to save my money to make interest anyway so maybe i don't I'm, don't really want to buy the celestial pack right now anyway uh, i will take this delayed gratification trying to get my money rolling here all right, so we are offered here eights and fours if I wanted to play a full house. Maybe instead, let's try to make our flush house happen. Okay, so a little bit of tension here between if I want to try to do telescope stuff, I want to make sure that I'm mixing up my hands and I don't like, you know, play too many pairs or too many high card and then I'm not able to get my flush house happening. On the other side of that, I also am trying to get money from my delayed gratification. So I don't want to be using my discards. And so maybe it's harder for me to draw into my flush house. So maybe what we'll do is we'll prioritize getting the flush houses so that we can get the telescope action happening and then we'll you know make up for the money later and then we'll do delayed gratification stuff later maybe it's not even worth it to pick up this delayed gratification if that's what the ultimate plan is oh well eights and fours are what we're looking for All right, uh, two pair should be fine. 
I could even play another two pair. Uh, here's a pair of sixes. Now we're running into, you know, if I want to do eight ball stuff, I might be tr playing lots of pairs later. So actually I'm going to play high card instead. All right, didn't get there on the flush house yet. We were forced to play high card again, unfortunately. So we're not yet getting our telescope value. We're not yet getting our gratification value. But we've got time. All right, so we're offered here. We can pick up the eight ball and start doing eight ball stuff. Maybe since I have this delayed gratification, if I want to do gratification and telescope, a way to make that happen is to pick up the Arcana pack um, so that I can potentially make it easier for me to get my flush house. Um, some consideration for picking up the uh, wasteful voucher here. The, you know, it costs us $10, but then with the delayed gratification, you get $2 back but maybe I'm not counting on making the delayed gratification happen anyway. Uh, not right away anyway. So we'll hold off on this wasteful voucher. All right, um, so I did get the fours here. Since I have the three sevens, I think I'm just gonna play it as a set of three here, just to get out of, out of the way. Uh, again, I am going for, I'm going to prioritize playing my flush house over, uh, the gratification. I think the value that you get from the telescope is worth whatever money that we're losing by not, uh, doing this gratification. Uh, we do get a pair of eights for our eight ball, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hanged man, cool. So, yeah, I can go ahead and discard looking for my eights. Another opportunity to discard here. Okay, so we did get the eights. Before I do these eights, I'm actually gonna get rid of these cards here. That way I don't have to see them later. All right, and just like that, we've got three flush houses, three three of a kind, three high card. So if we wanted to start getting telescope value, we could, but since we're still kind of developing our money here, maybe let's not blow all our money on the celestial pack. Now we have a tough decision. So blueprint with eight ball is great. Negative blueprint is even better. Is it worth $20? Is it worth losing all of our economy here, all of our interest? Mm, maybe, it could be. I'm gonna say it is. I'm gonna say it is worth it. You know, having extra tarot cards from eight ball, we can sell them, we can make up uh, for the lost money that way. Now, uh, I did recently put out a video um, in the high score run that we did, Part of what makes that high, you know, the really ridiculous high score possible is having those duplicate copies of Jokers. So I put out this video uh, tutorial how to do this glitch, this bug. We call it the white whale bug getting duplicate Jokers. So let's make that happen. So the setup is we go to the collection. Before I buy the blueprint, I'm going to find the blueprint in my collection, close the collection, buy the blueprint. And so what this does is I happen to know later on in the run, there will be another blueprint that shows up. And so normally that duplicate gets skipped. You don't get to see it. But by setting this up here, I have the opportunity. Now when the blueprint comes up, it'll actually show it to me. I can buy it. I can get that duplicate. And so we're just setting that up for the future. All right, so I've got the eights here. And we've got the four here also. Yeah, maybe if I'm choosing between 
either trying to get gratification value or trying to get eight ball value. I'm gonna to try to go for the eight ball value. Um, and I am gonna use this death card to potentially help me out if I need it. Let's try to find the eight of diamonds, if we can. Discarding only four cards at a time is not great, but I do know that I have this death card to bail me out. Maybe let's play high card one time here. All right, so we didn't get there on the eights. That's gonna be fine for now. I am going to take this opportunity. We'll get rid of the two and make another eight of clubs. Making it easier for us to make our flush house in the future. Or, you know, just in general, making more eights. And we do pick up another moon here. Again, helping with the flush, flush house action. All right. Uh, lovers, probably I don't want. Actually, I'm just going to sell it right away. Um, spectral pack. Uh, I know eventually one of the Spectral Packs is going to give me Aura that gives me the Polychrome card, so that's going to be helpful for, uh, you know, whatever high scoring stuff that I'm trying to do. Um, I'm going to try to build up my economy here. I'm going to try to save up my money. I'm going to try to finally, finally get some value out of this delayed gratification. This is especially delayed gratification is what this is. Um, do I want the Wasteful Voucher now? Finally, discards making it easier for me to get our flush houses or potentially giving us more money from the gratification. Yes, now I feel like it is safe to do that. All right, so trying to get a flush house. Okay, I've got the four, potentially fours with eights is what I'm trying to do. Uh, I am gonna at the same time try to get this delayed gratification kind of value. And so the way that we do that is we'll do sevens with the two we can safely throw away. Uh, eight, sixes, and fours. So let's see here, a uh, pair or two pair are gonna, going to be safe for a little while. Maybe we'll do something like this, pair of sixes. Still counts by the way, still counts as a hand even though we don't get any points for it for the purposes of doing uh, telescope stuff. Now I have the opportunity, I can make more eights of clubs right away. Mm, if I want, let's see here. Is that something that I want to do? Uh, what else might I want to make into clubs? Uh, I could make six into clubs or I can make these tens into clubs. Let's do the eights and then also the six. But then I am going to use these eights. Mm, maybe. So let's see here. If I do that, then I've got one, or I've got five cards. Five cards that I'm gonna draw for a chance of getting, I would need another four and another eight. And so if I wanna get both of these, the eight ball and the delayed gratification, I don't, I think it's too greedy. I think we can't actually pull that off. So we'll just do this. We don't get as many tarot cards, but we do get plus eight dollars here is pretty significant. All right, that works for me. All right, again, offered uh, a different spectral pack here. I think there's several that are offered throughout the run. Uh, let's see here. Crystal ball is useful if we're doing eight ball stuff with the blueprint, we're getting extra tarot cards. We wanna make extra room. Anti three, we still haven't bought, we still haven't purchased a single celestial pack that's Fine, we'll get our value later. You know, really, this blueprint costing us $20 is a huge deal that costs us a lot of money. Um, and that's why we're kind of struggling with the, you know, getting our money going here. 
All right, this is fine. We'll just skip go into the next round. All right, this is also why, by the way, uh, you know, this question of should I take in my spectral pack, should I take um, the Wraith? You know, you get a rare Joker, but it, you lose all your money. So, you know, is it worth it to, let's say, if you have $10, is $10 worth losing all your money for a random rare of which there are four possibilities or you know sometimes what people will do is oh i know that wraith is a possibility so before i open the spectral pack i'll spend all my money and then open the spectral pack um terrible it's you know, losing all your money losing all your economy here we're seeing uh what can happen uh here losing 20 dollars to pick up this blueprint i'm not able to get anything happening all right, let's see here. Uh, for scoring, I don't need these. Um, I probably don't need this. Hearts, uh, I've got the eights. I do have two six of clubs. If I do this, it'll be a high card. I can play high card up to two times. So we'll do that. Mmm, here's high card again. Alright, so we do have uh, six and four. And we've got our eights here. Yeah. Alright, between the six and the four, I think we'll throw the six and then hope to draw a four. So here's four chances to get two fours or we could do three chances to get three cards either a six or either of the fours um, i'm gonna do it this way uh, i think it's close between the two of those uh, this does by the way count as another high card so we are going to have to make up for that later like i said really tense between doing the delayed gratification not using our discards versus trying to make this telescope stuff happen so it's not easy uh you know here even we are falling further behind we're not able to play the hand so actually we're gonna lose eight bucks here that's okay we've got plenty of value coming from our uh, eight ball here so let's see i'm looking for my four yeah. all right we are struggling somewhat this is this is gonna help juggler that's gonna help uh they gave us a series card here so i don't have to buy the celestial pack how very nice of them. All right, so let's pull up this juggler. Or, you know, if you wanted to, you could go into our collection here and we could do this, uh, you know, this white whale bug here and just do that. Open it up, find the juggler, and then close it. And then now this will open up the opportunity for me to get another juggler later. Um, I actually happen to know that there isn't another juggler that shows up, or at least it doesn't come up for a long time. You know, maybe even in the first 80 jokers or something like that. So it doesn't matter, but that's what it would look like if you wanted to uh, do this white whale bug looking for duplicates of jokers. Uh, I do want this. I do want the series card. Uh, I don't want this star. Let's take a look what else we get here. Okay, I don't really need these things. There we go, plenty of money just from our tarot cards. We do have another shop coming up where I can pick up this crystal ball later. So we'll do that. All right, so we got the eights and all I need to do is get my two sixes or get another four. So let's see here, do I wanna play two eights? and then try to draw into my fours. Mm, that seems 
greedy. Let's do this. Let's, as a way of just getting cards out of our hand, let's play the three of a kind that was given to us. All right, now we've got fours and I do have another six left and I have another four of clubs if I want. So maybe if I use these two eights, I still have three. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, I've got, here's two pair, no problem. Give me some tarot cards. Uh, Fool for an emperor. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Though if I hold on to this fool, then I'm not getting uh, the extra tarot card. I think that's fine. Uh, judgment here, giving us a joker. Zany, I don't really need, but I don't really have a reason to sell it either. So I could just hold on to it. Uh, here's my eights for my flush house. Great. We got temperance to go with our fool here. Now we have plenty of money. We finally, uh, is this the first time? Second time. Second time we got this delayed gratification value. The, you know, I'm calling it the especially delayed gratification. All right. Temperance. We're good to go. Good to go on getting a second one of those. We'll pick up the crystal ball voucher here. We can uh, open up the celestial pack looking for a series card. I'm going to go Arcana first, potentially looking for another fool card. Uh, instead of a fool, I'm offered here. I can get plus $20. I'm into that. Yeah, or we can go for, you know, we can make the deck even thinner here with the hangman, make it even more consistent. Actually, I'm a little bit more into that. So we'll ditch an ace and a 10. Why not? Celestial pack. Pick up series here. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're, you know, it took us a, a hot sec to get there, but now we're cooking. All right, going into the water boss, we've got uh, the juggler to help us out. We've got the discard voucher. Doesn't matter because it takes away our discards. Uh, we've got plenty of clubs here. Let's re-roll just a little bit here to spend our money. Uh, we've got the negative, so we do have an extra slot. Series card again, cool. Uh, four fingers if we wanted you know even more help making our flush houses uh, we've got a bunch of eights here um, actually that's all of our eights all of our eights are clubs so we're looking at you know potentially here's an extra six extra six maybe one extra four um, it doesn't really help us that much so I'm gonna pass on the four fingers reroll one more time let's take this devil and try to get some value out of that. All right, so we got the fours and the eight here. Let's, here, let's do this. Let's play a straight. You know, if we're trying to do telescope stuff, I want to avoid playing a high card anymore. So we'll play a straight in there. All right, so we got the eights and the fours. Question is, what do we want to do with our gold card? Um, do I want to put it on a three or do I want to put it on a seven? Um, I'm going to put it on the seven. Okay. All right, now we're just flush with cash, so we can start playing around here. We can go Spectral Pack, Aura, okay. We get a Polychrome 4, okay. It's already clubs, uh, so that's great. That could be, you know, we could turn it into glass. We can make some flush houses with that. That could be our, you know, in the end game. That's our big scoring potential there. Um, I'm going to hold on to these tarot cards when I take a peek in this Arcana pack. 
do I want a lucky card or do, do I want just some random uh, additional tarot cards? Anything that I actually want to make lucky, you know, maybe a four here. Not really. If it were an eight, I would go for it. But since it's um, not an eight, maybe I'll pass on this magician. Let's make some room here and pick up the emperor. Okay, fool if I want another emperor or I can go ahead and start making glass cards. Let's try to do that. Uh, surplus voucher, I don't typically take it because I don't typically use that many rerolls, you know, in situate, most of the time you can't afford rerolls and in the situations where you can afford rerolls, um, then I don't reroll because I don't need to and I just like to have money that I don't spend. Um, but you know, here, since we have access to a lot of money, uh, let's go ahead and pick that up and we'll try to get some value out of that. All right, here's something kind of interesting. Let's do some dagger stuff. And so, you know, once upon a time, there was this challenge. There was this challenge where uh, we had a seed that gave us a dagger at the very beginning. And so the challenge was take the dagger, keep the dagger as your leftmost joker for the entire run. And then that way, you know, as you're playing along, it is constantly eating stuff. You can't prevent it from eating anything. And my solution was, okay, the way that we win this challenge is, well, I'll just don't buy any jokers. I'll just win with no jokers. And then I don't have to worry about losing my jokers to the dagger. So, you know, to be honest, not really in the spirit of the challenge. Um, so maybe let's get a little redemption here. Let's get a redemption for this dagger challenge. Not only will we take the dagger, but we will feed the dagger. And so maybe the way that I want to feed the dagger, we're going into anti four here, trying to get this eight ball value happening. Maybe I can go ahead and lose this delayed gratification or Actually, I'm going to try to go one more round here. So let's uh, take out this zany joker instead. All right. Looking for eights and fours, uh, in particular that four, that polychrome card, trying to turn it into glass. So let's see here. I can play two pair if I want to get rid of uh, sixes and tens. So we'll go ahead and do something like this. I am interested in holding on to this fool, potentially uh, temperance or hermit or death card or series. There's a lot of stuff that I could do with this fool. So I do want to hold on to that. Um, let's see here. We've haven't played high card in a while, so it is kind of safe if I want to do one of those now. Or uh, actually we ended up not playing that many pairs, so let's play a pair of threes. Yeah, that should be fine. Got a lot of eights, so you know, show me some eights eventually. Okay, here's our polychrome card. We can go ahead and turn it into glass. Here is a pair of eights. I have one more eight left in the deck. So, you know, if I were to do this, if I were to play my pair, I've got 11 cards left to try to get my other eight um, in order to get my delayed gratification value. Um, I think we'll play it safe here and we'll just do uh, something like this. You know, even hanged man copying it with the fool, that seems pretty useful to us. All right, Celestial Pack giving us a series card. And then this Arcana Pack. All right, Temperance is great. I have no problem, you know, getting another one of those. Uh, here are some spades that I can remove with my hanged man. Temperance here extra temperance you know maybe uh before i do that i could even uh pick up this holographic card here and then that way we can get extra value with our temperance and then also get extra 
value onto our dagger. We've got a ton of money now since we got those temperance cards. So let's try a couple of rerolls here. Uh, misprint, magician if I want it. Mm, not really seeing what I want here. I'm gonna save my money for future rerolls. All right. Are we trying to continue doing this delayed gratification stuff? Or are we going to pivot into more kind of eight ball stuff? That's the question. Um, I think we can go one more. So what do I mean by that? Okay, here's high card I can play. Here's a full house I could play, but I want to get my extra money there, so we'll play two pair instead. Okay, so we've got our flush house and we've got two hands left, and the question is, um, do I play just a regular pair of eights? Um, I think not. All right, gratification really coming through. Ah, here we go, here it is, the classic combo. Now we've got uh, the egg to go with our dagger. Uh, a little bit late pickup on the egg, you know, that's something that you kind of want to see earlier on in the run so it can build up value. But, you know, even with, you know, maybe five rounds left or four rounds, or I think it's something like that, you can still get $12, $13 on the, or $12, $15 on the egg. Uh, that's still plenty uh, to feed our dagger. So we'll go ahead and pick up the egg. We'll go Celestial Pack first for my series card. We'll use the Hermit after. That way if there's a Fool, maybe we can get a Hermit. Uh, or we could get a Natural Hermit. We have an option for Death also to make another polyglass card. And I think that's what I want to do. I want to go polyglass here. What am I trying to get rid of? Uh, maybe anything that's not clubs is kind of equally removable. Uh, since I only have two aces, maybe I feel comfortable taking out an ace. Is there anything that I want to turn into a lucky card? Uh, an eight, so I'll hold on to that. And then we'll go ahead and go polyglass here all right I think we're done doing delayed gratification stuff here now I've got some glass cards that I want to be discarding instead of playing them and I want to start getting more value out of my eight ball uh, you know not just one set of eights but two sets of eights each round also okay we have the opportunity instead of that uh, what was it? The delayed gratification. The business card will also generate us money. All right, couple re rerolls here just to see what we get. Couple planet cards, couple jokers that I don't care about. Uh, oh, we do get offered the constellation. So maybe that's something that I want to do. Okay, you know, for thinking of uh, long term, this long term scoring potential here. Maybe we'll get rid of the juggler, making room for this constellation. And then we can start leveling it up by taking Earth here. All right, versus the wheel, we've got uh, ooh, a ton of face down cards. Let's sort by suit. Okay, so I know at least this is clubs um, and I've got uh, after the four of clubs, this could, maybe that could be another four of clubs. Let me check here. No, it's not. All right, if I go rank there, I don't have another four, which means this is diamonds. So maybe all of this stuff I feel fine throwing away. Actually, even this four I should be throwing away here. Um, 
let's see here. These could be eights. These could be clubs. I don't know. It seems like it. Maybe what I want to do. I'll do something like this. All right, so we've got the fives. Uh, I do know this is an eight. I can confirm by when I use that, it flips it over. Didn't really get a great look at it, but I can confirm that is an eight of clubs. And so with my eight of clubs, maybe what I'm trying to do, uh, this could be another eight here. Let's try to find our four. Maybe I'll do this. There we go. So we've got the four, we've got the eights. It is perfectly safe for us to do this. Cool, we got uh, Temperance again and Fool. We've got a negative Joker, a negative Golden Joker. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, it's gonna give us, you know, not just money each round sort of for free there, uh, but also gives us this extra Temperance value. And we'll make another one. Uh, before I use this, I am going to pick up the Celestial Pack for the Series card. Then when I use this Temperance card, if there does happen to be a Fool, um, then I can potentially get another Temperance instead of another Series card. Uh, before I open up the Arcana Pack, let's re-roll looking for potentially more Tarot cards. Uh, for example, this tarot card was not really the one that I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Uh, we'll get another temperance, no problem. Um, and we've got a ton of money here, so let's reroll a little bit more. There is our second blueprint. So remember, uh, you know, back at the beginning, we sort of set up this, uh, what we call the white whale glitch, so that we could later on get this extra copy of the blueprint. All right, and we wanna make sure that we are blueprinting our eight ball here. And let's see here. Yeah, one more time. I can even uh, get dusk. So if I want to get dusk, and I happen to know that there's more than one dusk on this seed, we'll go here in the collection, close the collection, and then now we're set up uh, to pick up that dusk. Uh, I do need to make room here in my jokers, uh, so maybe what we'll do is we'll get rid of this business card, and then we'll pick up this dusk. All right, opportunity to make more clubs if we want them. So for example, this four of clubs could be useful. Uh, additional glass cards. Um, I think, yeah, I'm not really interested in getting a glass eight. So maybe I'll just go for the clubs. An extra six of clubs, that could be useful. And then uh, nine doesn't help me, but a two does. So maybe we'll do something like that. All right, and then we'll save our money for, again, future re-rolls. All right, uh, we've got, here's eight and four. Looking for more of those eights and fours or eights and sixes are also live all right so we got the eights and fours but i know that i have more eights left in the deck so let's go ahead and we'll play these eights now with blueprint blueprint and eight ball we're going to get three tarot cards so i'm going to sell the star here there we go three uh tarot cards very satisfying by the way um, now that I've got my eights here, let's go ahead and discard completing our flush house. All right, so we got eights and fours. Um, is there a card that I potentially want to turn gold? Yeah, maybe. Uh, how about a six? So the advice that I give is the card that you want to turn into gold is potentially a card that you want to never discard. And so if I make this six of clubs, then I can hold on to the six of clubs, potentially making a flush house with six of clubs if I need to in an emergency situation. 
uh, otherwise we will you know hold on to it um, I do have two discards left I, I want to try to use this hanged man so we'll discard one of the fours that's an option or I can do I can play the eights and then draw the sixes that's another option yeah maybe let's do that so if I do this I've got some fives three and two that I can draw into now I've talked myself out of it um, yeah, we'll pass on the moon. I'll discard the four looking for uh, some other card that I want to get rid of. Uh, for example, a two, that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then play our flush house. All right, great tarot cards offered to us. Let's see how much time we got left. Okay, so we've got a couple rounds left. Um, I want to, let's see here. Let's go Celestial. Series. Hermit. Another Hermit. And potentially a Fool here. Um, or before we open the Arcana pack, let's re-roll looking for more. Uh, we've got a stencil we can pick up. A uh, stencil could be good for us. Uh, you know, it's pretty good with the dagger. The dagger deletes a joker and then makes room for our stencil. Uh, we've got another negative here if we want it. Negative superposition uh, at Worse, you know, it doesn't take up uh, a joker slot here. We can always feed it to our dagger. Uh, ooh, we got another negative here. So, you know, if you're starting to see, you know, this is why we picked this seed uh, is because uh, we have so many negatives just sort of naturally offered in the shop already. We've got the negative blueprint, negative golden joker. We've got all of these negatives um, that we can pick up. Maybe one more time. Uh, didn't get uh, tarot cards that I was looking for. That's fine. Uh, I don't really want any of this. Uh, I do have the strength card potentially turning a seven into another eight. You know, it's a huge step up from five eights. You're only able to play two pairs um, versus a sixth eight. You're able to play three pairs then. That's 50% more tarot cards. Um, Actually, I'm going to hold on to this strength card. I can always get the seven in the round rather than in the tarot pack. All right, uh, I don't really need any of this, so I'll just pass. All right, uh, I am using my golden joker to make money here, so I want to make sure that uh, this doesn't get eaten by the dagger, so we'll move it over here. All right, we got the sevens, which I can turn into eights. I feel great about that. Um, looking in here, we've got plenty of flush houses. I don't really have to worry about what hands that I'm playing. So we'll go ahead and we'll play eights and fives, getting rid of a four. All right, some random stuff that I don't need. I could just sell it for value here. Uh, I've got eights and fours. That's what I was trying to do, right? Eights and fours. So maybe I'll throw away these. All right, so I've got eights and potentially also sixes. So I'll do this. I'll throw away. I'll throw away the sixes knowing that I can draw my fours. There we go. Only 10 cards left in the deck, so I pretty much have complete control over what I'm going to draw here. Um, a option to make things into more clubs. I don't think I need that. And I don't need these either. 
Um, let's see here. I could... Yeah, I don't have any cards that I would want to make wild. Uh, I do have a spare joker slot, so we'll use the judgment here. Splash is fine. Uh, let's see here. We've got the one eight left in the deck. So we'll go ahead and... Is that correct? We just got the one eight left. All right, we'll go ahead and play that. Play my flesh house. All right, Celestial Pack for a series card. Arcana Pack, I want to re-roll first. Blackboard, okay, but I would need to make room for it. So maybe we'll get rid of this splash and then we'll make room for this blackboard, potentially. Uh, let's see here. Star, I don't need. Emperor, I will pick up. Reroll one more time. Now we'll open the Arcana pack. All right, so the reason why, you know, we wait to open the Arcana pack is because now when I'm holding on to these tarot cards, I know I'm not going to see them again. Uh, now what do we want to do here? Let's make a lucky eight. We'll use the Emperor. If I use it now, I won't be able to get a Temperance card. So maybe I'll wait on the Emperor. Strength card. Um, I have just two sevens left. So maybe I'll try to hold on to it for that. You know, but I'm not really counting on it. Uh, we'll go Temperance. And then now we'll use this. Okay, so we did get some stuff that I don't really need. A couple of rerolls here. Okay, so since we did the duplication glitch, we got two copies of the blueprint. We also got a second copy of the dusk showing up. Um, so if I want to make room for my dusk here, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of this stencil. And then that way we can make room for the dusk. All right, uh, one more reroll here. All right, that's fine. Uh, since we've got, now we've got the multiplicative bonus from this blackboard, you know, times two from the blackboard here, and we've got some additive bonus from the dagger here. Uh, you always want to put your multiplicative bonuses on the right, and you want to have your additive bonuses on the left. So we'll pull the dagger to the left here before we go into the next round. All right, I've got uh, another eight that I can play. Uh, in total here, seven eights, so I can make three pairs, trying to get my eight ball value. So maybe we'll do something like this. We'll clear up some space. You know, we'll even make an extra lucky card here. Holding on to strength. Uh, in case I get my sevens and I'm able to make an extra pair. Okay, great. We've got the death card. So if I want, I can make extra fours. Uh, in particular, the uh, polychrome fours. I've got two already. Let's try to go for a third one. Um, I don't have room for an extra extra joker here so let's in, before i use my judgment let's make room there we go uh we can go ahead and discard some stuff um i do know that i can make my flush house with sixes i don't need the fours so i'm going to throw away the fours knowing that i can get my sixes later uh here is that polychrome four that I want to make a copy of with my death card. Uh, we can throw away the fours, drawing the sixes later. Um, or, no, that's what we want to do. There we go. Uh, we do have the strength card. I've got uh, extra eights, so we'll play eights, and I can even throw away an extra four this way. All right, strength on the sevens. 
lucky eight if I want it. Uh, how many eights do I've got left? Okay, so I've got here, I can play a pair of eights. I can make another lucky card if I want. And okay, here's just some extra stuff. Uh, we'll get rid of the world. You know, we could use this since I have the polychrome and glass cards, the extra molt cards that could be useful. Um, so here we'll go eights and sixes. All right, uh, in the final shop here, we do get the overstock voucher. So we can try to get some more, you know, interesting jokers. Not that the jokers that we have aren't already interesting. Um, we have a celestial pack because of telescope, we're guaranteed to get a series card. Before I open the arcana pack, let's reroll for more tarot cards. Uh, for example, here, this death card. I'm into that. Now let's go Mega Arcana. Okay. So I don't need another four because I already have three fours. Um, so maybe we can start thinking about, okay, what is our final hand going to look like? Uh, since I have strength here, I do have the option to, I can make not just fours, but I can make one of them into a five and then give me another copy of it. Let's do something like that. That way we can have, you know, even more uh, poly glass cards. So let's go four and three. Sorry, four and three if I go strength here and then I make a copy later. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to make the copy first? Let's make the copy now. And then we'll use the strength and that opens up the opportunity we could potentially re-roll into another strength card. All right, looking for potentially a couple more tarot cards. If we could get another death, that could be good. Series, I have no problems with. Uh, we got another copy of the stencil here, so we can make room by selling uh, Steven here. There is our stencil. Fool card, fool card for another series. Sure, why not? And I think that's going to do it for us. All right. All right, in the last round here, we do have to sell a Joker in order to remove the debuff. Um, you know, our polyglass cards are not going to work while they're debuffed. So let's go ahead and we'll sell this dagger here. And then now I'm looking for uh, fives and fours as our flush house. All right, so I have two fours are polychrome, so I can go ahead and throw away some extra fours. I also have, here's an extra five if I need it. So maybe we'll start doing something that looks like this for our discard. All right, so we've got the fives, we've got uh, one of our fours. We still got two fours left. We've got another five left. So maybe I'll discard something that looks like this. All right, there we go. Uh, we've got the fives. We got the fours. Um, if I wanted to, even I could make a. Uh, let's see. I can make a molt card here. Don't really need the devil anymore. So let's see here. If I line this up this way, four, four, five, five. Um, 
I have an empty joker slot, so I do have the stencil value. I don't quite get the blackboard value, so I've got a red card here. And with only nine cards left in the deck, I can very easily uh, discard to get rid of my uh, red card. So let's go ahead and discard. Then uh, here I've got the red cards that I want to try to get rid of, so we'll discard those. And then I'm not able to discard anymore, but what I can do is I can play these cards just like that. And then now with this completely clear hand, I even have the gold card left over. We get an extra $3 at the end here. Anyway, that'll do it for, you know, just kind of playing around, trying to get whatever kind of high score on this seed. Like I said, you know, we did this crazy, hyper-optimized, seeded run, high score, but it's also kind of fun to just play relatively off the cuff, you know, relatively blind, and just see what we explore. Here, a solid 160, or sorry, 176,000 and I will copy this seed into the video description so you can try it out yourself. Uh, play around with the duplicate jokers using the white whale bug.